so you you arrived back in New Zealand and a chance meeting chance met meeting Richard. I met my my darling of 24 years Richard at my auntie's house crazy world and well we, you know after a year of being friends we we started a relationship yeah and and you have two we have children. two beautiful children Ruby who's 23 and yes. Bruno who is 19 19 a whole new lifestyle and you know I've been back in New Zealand I travel a lot with business now but I'm so grateful to be here and family and ties family is very important to you and it's important to me too so when you came back you were working as a um, costume designer yes so I for for TV? TV series. I did something called City Life for nine months. I, um, I worked as a stylist. I um, eventually also trained fashion design students at university. But your heart wasn't really there. So this is when you're calling from your, I, I believe, the generational past of those days being with your, your grandmother, watching her work with herbal remedies, it came, that passion, which was always there, and it was gonna come. So now it's time for it to arrive, and it arrived. It did. I mean, we're very blessed, and you know, a lot of us have the opportunity to change our career halfway through our lives. I think we're blessed to do so. I was blessed to be able to do it. I loved it, I loved it. When I went and did that four year course, I found- So, so you, were, you trained as a naturopath. naturopath? medical herbalist, then I got a degree in complementary um, science, so. Wow. I did okay. science and I hated science at school, so there you go, <laughs> anything's possible. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and so um, I always like to believe that there's, there's people that don't know or what the certain things are. So I'm going to ask you, what is a naturopath? Mm, that's a very good question. Uh, a naturopath is someone who treats illnesses with natural therapies. Um, they tend to have different areas, nutritional health, so what you eat, yeah. your diet. Uh, we can use herbal remedies, so, um, you know, plants. We can use homeop homeopathy. Mm. Um, and, and yeah. you know, the Okay, so I started learning about this back in 2010, where I was um, involved with a, another New Zealand natural company that was making natural skincare. And that's when my eyes and my mind were educated and opened to natural versus chemicals and the power of botanical plants yeah. and the healing that they can do. Um, uh, our New Zealand harakiki plant is so you know I mean it's incredible manuka honey all yes, of this yeah yes. and it's so exciting when you start learning about it yes, because it once is. you start down once you start opening your mind to it and you understand the power of it but I want to ask you that uh, your company is about natural organic why do you want people to choose natural over products that are full of chemicals why ah. Well, you know, it's a journey back to, I had a naturopathic clinic, so I was treating a lot of people coming in with chronic diseases. We call them bottom of the cliff because the doctors can't necessarily fix it. So we're talking cancer or immune disorders or infertility that's, you know, um, chronic psoriasis, skin diseases, liver failure, neurological problems, ADHD. And I was shocked because we'd clean up the diet, We'd work on herbs, but there was still toxicity levels there. And I wondered why. And um, one of the conclusions I came to was we were basically slathering ourselves with chemicals. Yeah, they, they say that when you get up in the morning, you shower, you're putting on body washes, then you're putting on moisturizers on the skin, you can put a hundred... Well, basically, the average woman's 12, 12 products a day, 12, okay? Yeah. In that would probably be a dozen chemicals that most of them have never been tested. So that's 240, 250 chemicals you're exposing your body to a day. That's a lot. So what happens is that toxicity can accumulate in the body. And a lot of these chemicals aren't tested. In fact, probably about 90% of them 
have never been I mean, tested. That, when I found that out, I, that just horrifies me. I mean, you that these done. companies are putting these chemicals into these products, skincare, makeup products, and having yeah. no idea. Yeah. It's, a, it's a throwback from the 50s when chemical was exciting for everyone. And I just don't think the industry has matured to under, with their understanding now. And, you know, people are waking up and there are many new brands now that are looking at natural products, thank goodness. There are, and uh, you know, from my involvement from 2010 in the last 10 years, but that brings a problem too, because there's been a, cre a created of awareness, natural is good, mm. but then you get these companies that, oh, we're gonna make a natural skincare range, natural, and they build themselves as natural, and they are not natural. And that is what we call greenwashing. Called... Greenwashing. Yeah. And it's rife in the industry, sadly. Um, you could have less than 1% of a natural ingredient in there, call it out on the front label, made with aloe vera, a natural aloe vera, but the 99% is chemical. Is chemical, mm. right. So um, this is why I wanted to talk to Megan today, because I want you to hear this. So what does the consumer have to look for? What is, how do they know that they're getting organic or getting natural? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a tricky, tricky one because it's hard to be a label reader because even natural plants, we use the long name, can sound confusing. So we really like it when, and, and this is something that we do at World Organics and the Organic Skin Co, we certify our products. So we have somebody come in as an independent certification agency. So if you see an independent certification agent, like we use BioGrow, there's USD, you know, there's lots, Natru, there's a lot around the world, Soil Association, that means somebody has checked every single ingredient is pure, it is what it says it is, and it's being used in those products that's audited. And BioGrow, you have to have 70%. 70% to be a made with organic cosmetic, and every single ingredient, not even the, uh, the organic ingredients and the non-organic are all approved okay. to be safe. So what I'm saying to you is that these companies like Megan, World Organics and the Organic Skin Co, they are getting the stamp or certification BioGrow. Mm -hmm. Now they've, they are going that extra mile so that you know you are getting what it says it is. That's right. The other companies that aren't. Mm. I, I mean, there will be some honest players out there. And there of, of course there is. But it's such a highly unregulated industry. And you know, these are shown to be in the blood, these chemicals. And we know that some of them are carcinogens. We know some of them create infertility. We know some of them have neurological problems. It's not on. And so having that sense of security, you either need to research the brand, who they are, and learn to read labels, yeah. or you look for the certification on there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's um, really, really important. I sound really passionate, but it's no, such a I'm, subject close no, 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 to no. my heart. Well, and that's, you know, um, it's, it's so important. It's so important. I, I mean, we're aware now about what we're eating. Yes. We are reading labels. Yes. We're all this doing that true. now. And true. so it's what you eat yes. and it's what you put on your skin because we know what you put on your skin is absorbed. Yeah. It's as simple as that. You know, there's been a recent uh, Facebook uh, FDA study that's come out. Mm. Now, that was really interesting because they're finally saying in sunscreens, the UV filters, yes. Yes. and they've listed, oh, I'm going to put up the, the names because they're all names I can't pronounce. <laughs> but, <laughs> <That's> um, <tricky. laughs> but, you know, they're saying that they're being absorbed into your skin and you're putting it on four or five times a day because sun protecting your skin is important. Yeah, it is. So what, what do you suggest? What are we going to put on our skin to protect it from the sun? Okay, well, first of all, we do need vitamin D. So we need a little bit, but in the middle of the day when it's really hot and that sun damage happens, you can put a, um, a, a, a sunblock on that's proper zinc, not, not nano or proper 
titanium dioxide. So these actually reflect the sun back off and you know they work we you know SPF 30 you can get so the thing is don't be filled with the nanoparticles because some people say it's a zinc and you put it on and there's no color if it's a proper zinc. sunblock yeah it will be zinc titanium and you'll put it on and there'll be some whitening whitening which you can rub in yeah. so Megan you produce two ranges can you tell me about those ranges uh, so, well, we have two ranges of products. There's the Organic Skin Co and River Veda, but we, we have the umbrella company called World Organics, which is, um, it's kind of an incubator. We create brands that are organic and natural and World Organics um, was also a selling arm as well. The Organic Skin Co is our mainly makeup brand that we're taking internationally. So. We're really excited about that because it's really just starting to flourish around the world. And I just, I think it's wonderful because some companies do natural organic skincare and we're cleansing our face, we're doing all the right things with our skincare and then layering chemical makeup, cosmetics. I know. I know. So it's lovely to have both, both areas covered yeah. so that you know that you are are having that safety of putting beautiful natural organic skincare and then follow up with the cosmetics. Now, I spoke earlier about your integrity and it flows through your whole business and you have some amazing business initiatives and I want to talk about them. And the first one that I want to talk about with every product purchased... We plant a, a tree. You plant a tree. Yes. So every, tell, tell us about that. So we have this, it's a wonderful, wonderful initiative because to me that's the one thing that we can all be doing at the moment that could be really helpful. So we wanted to weave it into business. We partner with an incredible organization called Eden Reforestation. Um, they're a nonprofit. Um, we chose them because they're planting all over the world. We work in Ethiopia, Nepal and Madagascar with them but they also employ the villagers as well. So they're creating work and we love that holistic aspect. So you purchase a product, we donate to Eden Reforestation and they plant a tree on your behalf for purchasing the product. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful initiative. Well, you know, there's a lot of companies now doing these initiatives. It's exciting. It's a whole new way of doing business out there. Yeah. It's, it's generous, it's caring, wow. I like it, I really, really like it. Mm -hmm. And another thing that you know is very, very strong with your brand is the packaging. Mm -hmm. Now there is a little dirty secret in the cosmetic industry. Ah, there is, and we are just waking up to it. So we've talked about the toxicity, but the other thing is the packaging waste. So. 120 billion units are bought of personal care products a year in this earth. 120 billion. 120 billion units yes. in cosmetics yes. are bought each year. Each year. Okay. A lot of that's going to end up in the landfill. Why? A lot of it's not recyclable. Or if it's right, recyclable, we know that 70% of recyclable materials are not disposed of appropriately and they end up in the landfall. So that's a lot of units contributing that don't break down for hundreds, thousands of years. It's an issue. Um, and we can readdress it. It takes time, but it's up to the brands to actually start creating initiatives to stop that process and to think about how we can and it's, you know, like your packaging, to change packaging, yes, it's a big, it takes, it's a process. It takes more than a year to change anything, at least. So you have to start thinking and working and developing. I, I, want, I want you to share your packaging because I, I think it's amazing because, you know, I, um, I love this idea that for your eyeshadow palettes, that you can choose, number one, you can choose your eyeshadows because how many times, I know me, I've bought these palettes before and I end up only using two yes. of the colors. Yes. Everybody does that. And then it's like, well, what am I gonna do with the rest of them? So I love this idea, you choose the colors. 
to put in your palette. This is a beautiful palette made of bamboo. bamboo yeah. So I love this. I can have this forever. Yeah. And just keep changing. You keep changing them out. So there's, we've created little holes here. And we also don't just do eyeshadows, it's cream blushes and luminizers and all sorts of lovely things. And you see, you just pop these little pods in and out. So you get your little package and we've just recently launched this, which is like a, um, it's made, it's like an egg carton. It's made out of um, pulp card and you just pop that out, pop it in and it's recyclable. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, you can buy your concealer and it's all wrapped in plastic mm. Mm. and you have to get the scissors to get it to get <laughs> your product out yeah yeah so we've just launched these and um these in this new packaging that took a year and a half to get right to get the mold made it's always an investment and even with our little jars we make the same little hole and you pop the pods in and out so this is something that we can do so you don't have to throw the primary packaging away and I think we'll be seeing a lot of this and I think it's something for customers for us all to look out for is like how can we refill and treasure what we have. Glass is also an option like we we use glass in a lot of our products as well and oh, yeah I'm just gonna say <laughs> this is my favorite. It's your new love. <laughs> it is my new love and it's called the good oil and I am I am just the <laughs> The queen of smell. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone that knows me intimately knows I love smell. Um, and I used this and I was like, what does that smell? And I said to Megan, what does that smell? And it's honeysuckle. It is. And, you know, again, smell, aromatherapy, our oils. And that brings me to the question about the extraction, super extraction. It's something that you do. Super critical extraction. And, you know, this is something I fell in love with as a herbalist because I'd never come across it. It's super concentrated and super clean and super whole. So normally when we extract, we have other things in there and they go onto the skin. This has got nothing but the herb and it's very concentrated, so it brings all the power out. So if we, for example, squash an amla berry and we've made this beautiful concentrated extract, it's like nature's vitamin C, all in a bottle, and we can deliver it and it's organic and it's pure. Into the skin. And that's why this smells so good, because that's a honeysuckle supercritical extract. I can't get enough of that. <laughs> Beautiful. And I, and I also, what I also really like is the size of this. Mm -hmm. So often you can get a, an oil and it's too small. Yeah. I seem to go through it too quickly. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a great size. Thank yeah. Thank the you, good, Ray. the good oil. Yeah. Uh, very, yeah. very, it's, it's also very calming and a lot of us need calming these mm -hmm. days. Yeah. We need calming emotionally. We need Enjoy. calming on our skin. Yeah. And that's the calendula and the turmeric. Um, it's such a frantic world. And that's about well-being. And that's what you were talking, what I, I, I said about you living a holistic and natural lifestyle, which really does help people and our well-being. Um, Megan, your herbs. Yes. <laughs> tell me about those, where they're growing. And... Well, you know, funnily, we talked about India before. Yeah. And so I think that's a lifetime love affair for me is India. And they are, the Ayurvedic herbs and the beautiful plants there have always captured my imagination. And so I ended up going back there following the, the gentleman who grew and extracted these supercritical extracts. And so a lot of our plants like turmeric and amla, they come from India. And we go over, I go over once a year and I visit the, um, either the farmers or the extraction plant. And I, I'm just, you know, I'm very grateful for that because the organic farming processes is really important in India. If I can just share with you something that's kind of a little bit scary, but you know, in India, you have a farmer committing suicide every three minutes. Um, that's because the soils become so degraded um, through chemical fertilizers or they've ended up owning, owing a lot of money to the chemical fertilizer company or the seed companies. And so we partner with people whose mission it is to help these farmers 
transfer their farming back to organic processes. And so we're doing our little bit to try and support those organic farming processes. Um, mm -hmm. We think it's really important. It's important everywhere in the world, but in certain places they live a little bit more to the poverty line. Yeah. So. so that's another reason that your product is so special. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's comes from the seeds, I mean, this is the farmers. Yeah. And the love that they put yeah, into it. Yeah. And that's that's all energy. And I'm a big believer in energy and, and it's all there. Yeah, and you feel it, and I think, you know, you have your beautiful brands like Dr. Hauschka and, you know, old brands like that that knew about these practices 80 years ago. And they've put the love into the plants and into the way that they're created. It's like cooking. Isn't it better if someone puts love and fresh produce into the food and you can taste it? Well, you can. I know when I cook, when I cook and I'm happy and relaxed, it ends up being really good yeah <laughs> and if and if I cook and I'm stressed yes. forget it it all goes wrong <laughs> and we burn ourselves <laughs> yeah things happen that's dead right so really um I I just want to finish with we really want you to think about your choices yes. and it is it's about making choices that are going to be good for you for your health for your well-being and also for this earth because that's another layer of it, of your brand. And it's caring about our earth and making conscious choices. Yeah, well, you know, it's an exciting time, I think. People are becoming conscious of the needs for this. We're educating, we're talking, we're not all perfect. I'm not perfect at all, I'm learning all the time composting let's do it together let's have the conversations and that's why I want to thank you Lorraine for what you're doing on this you know series the gift you're sharing that kind of information yeah. that's what the gift is yeah. and I, I, that's why I wanted to start it because I just know that there's so many incredible inspirational people that can help other people